Hello and welcome. In this video, you will learn how to rotate the terminal box of a drive equipped with MovieLink DDI. You can do so in three steps Disassembly, Rotation, and Assembly. To do this, you will need the following tools Torque screwdrivers TX20 and TX25. Socket wrench inserts for hexagon heads with wrench size 7 and 8 mm, a slim slotted screwdriver, and a torque wrench. The corresponding tightening torques are listed in the operating instructions. Undo the screws of the terminal box cover to open the terminal box. Then undo the PE screw fitting of the MovieLink DDI communication unit and disconnect the cable. At that point, open the cover of the MovieLink DDI communication unit using a suitable slotted screwdriver and remove it. You can then unlock the coaxial connector and pull it off. Then disconnect all the wires of the temperature sensor and the brake. Finally, pull the white FCI connector off the MovieLink DDI communication unit. Unlock the snap-in connection of the MovieLink DDI communication unit on the back of the module and lever it out in the direction of the terminal board. You can then undo the two screws of the carrier plate and remove the carrier plate. Please make sure that no small parts fall into the interior of the motor. Finally, you can disconnect the connection leads from the terminal board. Undo the retaining screws of the terminal board. Temporarily position the terminal board in the area of the MovieLink DDI communication unit. Then undo the retaining screw of the adapter plate. At this point, you can determine the outlet direction of the motor cable. There are a total of four different cable outlet directions to choose from. In our example, we are rotating the terminal box from cable outlet direction X to cable outlet direction 1. To do so, position the adapter plate according to the installation position overview for cable outlet direction 1. Fasten the screws of the adapter plate. You may have to use some force to groove the thread. Then tighten the screws with a torque wrench. Undo the retaining screws of the terminal box. Then rotate the terminal box to the desired position according to the choice of cable outlet direction. Be careful not to trap any cables in the process. Fasten the terminal box and tighten the screws. Then fasten the terminal board with the retaining screw. Wire the connection leads L1, L2 and L3 according to the wiring diagram.
then position the shield connection of the encoder and fasten the carrier plate with the two screws. Insert the encoder cable into the carrier plate. Then press the MovingLink DDI communication unit into the carrier plate until the snappers audibly click into place. Then reinsert the FCI connector and the coaxial connector. After that, connect the temperature sensors according to the wiring diagram and attach the cover. You can then refasten the PE screw fitting. Subsequently, you can connect the brake connections according to the wiring diagram. Place the terminal box cover back in position. Be careful not to trap any cables in the process. Finally, screw on the terminal box cover and tighten the screws. The rotation of the terminal box is then complete. We wish you every success with this task. SEW Eurodrive, driving the world.